Tony Tunes, boy, the great picture here, DGP, back again with another episode of Patriot Keys. And yes, you see the title, man, a surprise, a surprise. Uh, I just finished recording a Leonard Fournette video, which be sure to check that out. Should be a couple hours after this video. And as I'm about to start editing that video, I get the news that Muhammad Sanu has been cut by the New England Patriots. So let's go ahead and just talk about it right here. But before we get into it, man, it's going, this right here, I'm gonna ask for a favor. It's not gonna cost you nothing. It's free 99. I'm not, you love free stuff, you love free stuff. Go ahead and hit the subscribe on the video, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Leave a like on the video and go ahead and comment your thoughts and stuff at the end of the video down below. And be sure, you know, share, share this video with your friends, you know what I'm saying? Uh, tell a friend and tell a friend. You share with one, he shares with another, boom. That's two, three extra people that is now going to view the video. Man, help your boy out. But let's get into it, man. So let's do a backstory on it real quick. Muhammad Sanu was Atlanta Falcon, tra got uh, drafted there actually. Actually, I'm sorry, he wasn't drafted there. He drafted with the, uh, the Bengals. He ended up going to the Falcons in free agency. We then trade for him because the Antonio Brown experiment did not work out. He could not keep his the phone in his pocket. He couldn't keep his phone in his pocket. Couldn't keep, stop texting. All he had to do was do that. Uh, so after we cut him, Brady, we don't have no offensive weapons. And, and again, a lot of people after the Steelers game said, why even get Antonio Brown? Your offense is good. But it proved that we needed some offensive weapons. We needed some receiver help. Um, so with that, we got desperate. Around the trade deadline, we like, look, we got to bring somebody in. Who's available? Uh, 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 Sanu, you're available. You're the, you're the only guy who can be somewhat available. And um, again, he's a guy from Rutgers, which Belichick loves. Rutgers and Alabama guys. Uh, so decided to trade a second round pick, which in actuality is really a late third, is really a late second round pick, an early third round pick, kind of like that. So uh, it has some value to it just a little bit. Um, and a lot of people said that we over uh, overpaid for it. And I said, look, if it works out, it works out, you know, with the potential that he could bring in and the need that we had, I mean, we had to pay the, we had to pay a hefty price. Now guys like Kid gonna say, I've been gassing him, da 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 this stuff. Again, he was right, you know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, but with Muhammad Sanu cut, uh, where, where does that lead the Patriots? Why was he cut? Uh, so last year when he got traded, he injured his ankle. Was pretty much injured the entire year. He missed some games and all that stuff. Um, so he only had about 200 yards last year. I think he only had like one or two touchdowns just for us. Uh, so then he gets surgery in the offseason. He comes to camp, and he the Patriots don't, just doesn't think that he was he just was meh. They must have thought he was just meh. You know, you have Edelman, you have to kill Harry. Those are your top two guys. And Gunner, uh, Gunner Osefsky, I think I'm, I'm butchering this name. I'm gonna get it right one of these days. But Gunner, man, they are loving his progression. You know, he got hurt at the end of last year, so he didn't play the full season, but they are loving his progression. And I think that was the big key to push him over the top. And I think he's gonna be our third guy. Uh, listen on depth chart for wide receivers. And they decided to cut Tyler Muhammad Sanu. Uh, with cutting Muhammad Sanu, it does save us six and a half million dollars in caps. So Earl Thomas, Leonard Fournette, you know, Jadavion Clowney. I don't know. I don't know. Just, just throwing it out there. Just throwing those names out there. But um, that, that also clears up some more space in cap and, you know, kind of helps the little uh, cut down to 53 teams on set that we have to have by Saturday. So let's go ahead and review this trade. We traded a second round pick for Muhammad Sanu. That second round pick, Atlanta ended up trading it to Baltimore, which they ended up taking the running back at Ohio State, J.K. Dobbins. So let's keep in mind, let's keep in mind on that name right there, see how his career turns out, because that could be something that the Ravens need for the future. And it'll all stem from a Muhammad Sanu trade uh, for us being desperate. The Patriots could have helped them out. But you know, remember, you know, we gotta keep in mind with those things because you know, situations like I will never forget Ray was one of Gronkowski we traded a one pick before him into Gronkowski and uh you know we, we the Ravens just, just upset ever since now they got Mark Andrews so you know can, can, they, they got to tighten now finally but uh all seriousness man with this whole Mahomes new situation I think that just lets you know that Gunner he's the guy he's, he's the uh, third guy on the depth chart you know him and uh Edelman and Nikhil Harry those are your top three receivers and I think because Gunner shows so much improvement maybe Sanu didn't come back with the ankle injury maybe he still was looking a little slow and sluggish they was like hey man we can save six and a half million dollars in cap space right now we don't got to pay him and you know let's get Gunner a shot let's get him an actual chance and also Gunner's a great punt returner too for us last year um so now that leaves us with this whole situation now he's not officially cut yet they said he didn't make the wire the transaction wire to be cut um so i think also too they're trying to trade him so probably tomorrow or so we'll get the official word uh but i think they're trying to trade him and again with teams think wide receivers maybe a team will pay a premium a fifth a sixth seventh round pick just to secure him and he don't, they don't have to worry about free agency and all that stuff so we'll see how that all works out man but muhammad sanu is now no longer a patriot um I wish they would have let him play his season out just so he can get a redemption, but I, I really understand, man. If he was going to be fourth on the depth chart anyway, ain't no need to pay him $6.5 million uh, just business-wise and also to 
uh, give Gunner a shot. That's that's pretty much it, man. Uh, they did they if he was gonna be fourth on the depth chart, they didn't want to pay him six and a half million dollars. So that's gonna be it for the video, man. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, all that great stuff, man. Again, uh, Patriot News, I love being back, man. Appreciate y'all, love y'all. Thanks for still being here, supporting me, the new people, the ones from old that I've been spotting the past year or so. But I'm officially back, man. Again, 2020 is crazy. Stay safe, y'all. Stay blessed. Catch you next time, y'all. Peace.